Surf in Transylvania. Once upon a time, deep in the craggy mountains of Transylvania, Dracula was feeling lonely. Most humans get the wintertime blues when it's dark all day and too cold to do much outside. Well, vampires like Dracula got the summertime blues. When it was sunny all day, he was forced to lurk about his castle. Only the spiders and bats for company. Don't get it twisted. Dracula loved all his spider and bat friends, but they were better at eating bugs than making conversation. And his real friends, the other monsters, were all busy doing their own thing. The summer had mostly slipped away, and Dracula was just washing up some dishes. Above the sink was an early transistor radio. Tuned to the one station that reached him in the mountains, he was just about to shut it off, and then the DJ cut in. Hello, all you Transylvania mania monsters! We got some major swells in the Black Sea coming this week. It's gonna be great surfing for all you gnarly dudes and dudettes out there. So go grab your boards and let's hang ten. A beachy surf song started playing, all guitar and bouncy rhythms. Dracula jerked around so fast he shattered an ancient crystal goblet. Surfing! His friends would love that. He sat at his writing desk and dipped his quill in ink. If his heart was still beating, friends, it would have been thumping with excitement. A few days later, the castle was full to bursting. The Wolfman and Mummy had arrived first, blinking into the parlor with the Mummy's magic. The goblins all came in one giant wagon, their long, laughing faces packed with too many teeth. Frankenstein brought his bride, the pair showing up in matching Hawaiian shirts. After them came the ghouls and ghosts, gremlins and gargoyles, Igor with his club foot, the witches, the warlocks, and even the creature from the Black Lagoon. Welcome, welcome, everyone. Dracula called when they had all gathered in the castle's main hall. In a nod to the event, Dracula had festooned it with beach towels, lays, sand, shells, and more. Of course, there were still a lot of bats and chains and spider webs and the like, but the monsters were all used to that. I'm so glad you could make it to my party. I've got surfboards for everyone, and the Black Sea is ready to go. They all cheered and stampeded out of the castle, eager to get surfing. They hit the beach like seagulls after some bread. Doctor Jekyll fired up some burgers on the grill. Mister Hyde burned them to a crisp, and then they all got surfing. Unfortunately for Dracula, it was already the early hours of the morning, and the sun soon showed itself over the Black Sea. He had to run back to the castle before he got charred worse than the burgers. Back at home, he laid in his coffin and sighed. He had invited all his friends over, but they all wanted to enjoy the sun. They weren't allergic like vampires. But how did he not see this coming? He spent the day moping around his castle. He tried to get the spiders to dance the hula with him, but they had too many legs, and the whole thing just didn't work. All of his friends came home when the sun went down. Dracula was ready for them in the parlor with board games and cards and snacks. His friends, however, were partied out. They were cooked from the sun's activities and tired from the day's festivities. No sooner had they gotten back to the castle than they all headed off to bed. Dracula was left alone in the kitchen, staring at his pile of games. Eventually, he threw Monopoly into the fire and headed off to bed himself. The next morning, he woke up bright and early, determined to have some summer fun with his guests. He cooked a big breakfast with only a little blood and only on the side, and set up games for everyone. Unfortunately, when all the monsters finally walked, stumbled, flipped, flapped, dragged, and oozed into the kitchen. They weren't interested in staying indoors. Dracula, great breakfast! Wolfman said, swallowing a steak so rare it was probably collectible. Games look good, but I gotta get back to that surf. You get it, right? Oh man, surfing just makes me 
Oh! All the guests looked up, and Dracula saw that most of them were already in their bathing suits. Even the ghosts had on some spectral trunks. The goblins were naked, but then again, the goblins were always naked. No, wonderful, wonderful, Dracula said. You all ago have fun surfing. I will stay right here and uh, wash all of my bloody silver there. All right, said Wolfman, throwing on his shades. Then it looks like this Wolfman's about to get wet and wild. Let's hang ten, guys. Hey, spiders, you can hang eight. Come on, let's do this thing. Oh! Everyone cheered and followed the Wolfman out of the castle even the spiders this time. The mummy lingered for a spell until it was just her and Dracula in the kitchen. Hey, Drac, she said. You sure it's okay if we go surf without you? No, no, it's not okay, was what he wanted to shout. But he didn't want to get in the way of his friends having fun, so he just shook his head instead. It's a fine. Have a good time. Ride a wild way for me. The mummy looked at him through narrowed, bandage-wrapped eyes. Finally, she shrugged and headed outside to join the others. Dracula changed into a bat and went to hang out in his castle belfry. Later that morning, the mummy managed to pull aside Wolfman and Frankenstein while they were laying out getting some sun. Wolfman was getting some blonde streaks in his fur, and Frankenstein tanned, burned, and freckled in various patches. Hey guys, we need to do something for Dracula. We've left him all alone in the castle again. Wolfman didn't bother to turn his head. Easy there, Mum. He said he doesn't care, right, Frankie? Summer, hair, don't care. See, it's all good. The mummy sighed. Listen, Dracula's always been a good friend to us. He had us all to his castle and we abandoned him. Just because he said it was okay doesn't mean it really is okay. It just means he's being more polite than we are. Wolfman cocked his shaggy eyebrows behind his glasses. That's, uh, that's some pretty heavy stuff, he said. But I guess you're right. Surfing's pretty righteous, and uh, it's a bummer Drax allergic to the sun. We've got to make it up to him. Wolfman hopped up to his feet, tail wagging. All right, Mum, we're with you. But uh, what do we do? Frankenstein lumbered to his feet, sand raining from his Hawaiian shirt. What do? The mummy smiled, showing off her pearly browns. I've got an idea. Get everyone together for me. Wolfman howled up the crowd, and together they got busy. Later that day, as the sun was going down, Dracula heard a wild cheer from outside the castle doors. He fluttered down from the belfry and turned back into his human form in a puff of black mist. It sounded like his friends were nearly back. They'd be wanting to eat and go right to bed again. He sighed. Another summer down the drain. Hey, Drac! shouted the wolfman from just outside the door. You there? Oh! Wolfman, welcome back! Dracula said, forcing some cheer into his voice. What can I do for you? The sun's almost down, Brosif. Just stand back a bit. Curious. Dracula took a few steps away from the door. Outside, as the sun swam below the sea's horizon, his friends all counted down. Three, two, one, surprise! Wolfman and Frankenstein threw open the heavy iron doors with a resounding clang. Outside, the monsters were lined up on the beach. What, what is this? Dracula asked. We felt bad for leaving you behind, the mummy said. Yeah, bro, Wolfman said, ears tucked. We just got so caught up in the radical surfing, we forgot that the sunlight, like, 
totally harshes your vibe. Totally harsh, Frankenstein agreed. So yeah, dude, we all took it easy today and the moon is full. Plenty of good waves, the mummy added. Water's fine, finished Frankenstein and passed Dracula a bat black surfboard. Dracula looked at all of his pals, all waiting for him, and if he had a heart, friends, it would have been warmed. Hey, everybody, he shouted, let's go surfing! They all cheered and, together, rushed towards the moonlit waves. Well, Dracula was bombing all the summer days Till his friends all came over to Transylvania But the sun is still shining, our band can face the rays He's hanging out in the belfry while everybody plays All the monsters were surfing with a scream and shout but Dracula is feeling, feeling left right out. Till the mummy says, hey boys, well we've got it wrong. Instead of rocking in daylight, let's party all night long. Now they're all going wild, well it's monster mania. And everybody is surfing, surfing Transylvania. Well, you know by sunrise, we'll be the best of friends. Got our monster party, all hanging tan. You know I love to see it, you know it's always great. To catch our spider buddies, out there hanging eight. Well, the wolf man is hairy, and it's getting worse. But man, he'll party through any spell or curse. Oh, when he gets going, well, he's known to croon. He's got us howling up at the moon. Ah, ooh. Ah, ooh. Ah, ooh. Ah, ooh. in Transylvania. Dr. Jekyll is cooking, Mr. Hyde is too, and they got Igor helping, plus a zombie crew. So watch your burger, don't want to do no harm, cause you may be munching on somebody's arm. Well, Frankenstein's monster his lovely bride they've got the dance floor and it's open wide but Frankie he don't tango she's not a discoist but you should see them boogie the Transylvania twist you know they're going wild well it's monster mania and everybody's surfing in Transylvania and everybody's surfing surfing Transylvania and everybody's surfing surfing Transylvania The End Thanks for listening 